I was born in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, but I grew up mostly in Long Island, New York. My ancestral homeland is in Jaipur, Rajasthan, India. There are a lot of academics in my family. My mother is a mathematician, and my grandfather was a professor of Sanskrit and ancient Indian history. A lot of mathematics I learned as a child was through what he taught me about the rhythms of Sanskrit poetry. I think mathematicians do mathematics for reasons that are very similar to those of musicians playing music or any artist doing their art. It's all about trying to contribute to a certain understanding of ourselves and of the world around us. One key to solving hard mathematical problems that people have been thinking about for many years is to think about them in a totally different way. One of the most exciting moments of discovery for me occurred when I was a graduate student at Princeton. Those days I'd been thinking about Gauss composition. So Gauss composition is a method by which one can take two quadratic expressions and two variables and combine them to produce a third such quadratic expression. At one moment it just clicked, it was around midnight when I usually go to sleep, that if I take a Rubik's cube and I cut off the top layer and then I put numbers in the remaining little cubes, that that would lead to a cubic analog of Gauss composition. I went on to discover 12 more analogs of Gauss composition over the next couple of years, but that first one suddenly opened this door, and that door was opened in part because I was playing with toys. A lot of the work I've done over the past several years has involved developing techniques in the geometry of numbers in order to solve problems about the number of number fields having bounded discriminant or the number of rational points on random elliptic curves or higher genus curves. These proofs about the existence and non-existence of rational solutions to elliptic curve equations have in particular now led to a proof, which is joint work with Chris Skinner and Wei Zhang, that most elliptic curves satisfy the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture. Some of the most applicable mathematics that's occurred in history has been discovered not for the purpose of the application, but because one was just searching for the most beautiful mathematics out there.